Hello everyone, welcome back to A Journey to a Mile. Today I get the pleasure of unboxing this optic that I've selected for our Masterpiece Arms 6.5 Creedmoor rifle that we reviewed in our previous video. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check that out, please do so. This is a Night Force Attacker. It's the 5 to 25 by 56 millimeter. This has the Mil XT reticle, which includes illumination. So super excited to get this open and take a look at all the features that it has. In addition, we have the Night Force Unimount. This is the one and a half inch height. Um, it has a zero MOA cant in it because our rifle, if you recall, already had a 20 MOA rail on it. So I didn't want to add anything additional with that. Let's get started. Let's get this thing open. What do you say? So let me get this out here. There's a nice seal. Take a look. All right. Excited. All right. Take a look. All right. Let's see. I'll turn this around a bit. I'll pull all this out. I know you can't see in the box. I'll try to tip that up a little bit so you can kind of see what the packaging is like. But let's just get this out and then we'll take a closer look. So it looks like we have looks like some stickers, maybe a few other items that are in this bag. I'll get that open here in a second. Uh, owner's manual, we'll need that for any torque settings, anything when we go to get this installed. So we'll keep that to the side. What do we got under here? All right, we got a couple of bags here that say do not discard in nice bold letters. Let's see, this is a windage turret, beauty ring. Ah, I know what this is for. I'll show you guys shortly what that's all about. And we have a ah, the throw lever for our magnification. So I'll keep this also, I'm gonna wanna get that installed onto this unit. And all right, we also comes with a sunshade. We'll decide if we're gonna use that or not as we progress. It's always handy to have, so I'm glad they included it. Let's see, we have this little piece of foam. I'm gonna keep that there. And of course, the scope itself. We'll drill into that here in just a moment as I get everything else unboxed. What else we got here? Ah, this looks like a lens cloth to keep everything clean. And a little multi-tool that they included, likely for some of the set screws on the turrets to, to zero it out. All right, that looks like everything that we have in the box. Let's get this out of our way. I'll just set that right over here. Okay, let's go through some of the features that are on this scope. So first off, let's go to the ends. We have some Tenebrix lens caps that are included. So very nice accessory that's included on it. These are some great caps. Make sure these are all nice and closed. I like to keep this nice and clean on the lenses so they're there. We'll talk through our turret system first. So first off on this side, we have our windage. So on the Night Force, none of these are locking turrets. So that's something to consider as you're looking into various optics, depending on what your preferences are. So on the Night Force, this has a cap that goes over the windage turrets. And so I can unscrew that to get in so that I have my actual adjustments here. I can go ahead and rotate these, have a feel for how that is going. Very smooth, uh, a good, good feel to it. There is some tactile, but not over, overly powerful, not super loud, which I like. If you do recall, we had that beauty ring. That's for these threads right here. If you do not want to leave this cap on and want to have your windage turret out, I highly recommend you put that ring on there, not only to clean up the look, um, hence why it's called beauty ring, but also more importantly to protect those threads so they don't get any damage on them as you're using it. I'll go ahead and put that cap back on for now and put that there. All right, on the top we have our elevation. So again, not a locking turret, so this does not move up and down. This can be re-zeroed, so there's a process that you can follow to re-zero that out and have a, a, a zero stop associated to it. I am just checking out uh, the, how this is turning. Again, very smooth, a bit more tactile feel on this than on your windage. 
So definitely can feel that. You might even be able to hear that a little bit. Um, but still not overly powerful. So very, very smooth, solid, uh, good feel to it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so you can see. So on the other side, we have our parallax adjustment. Um, it kind of goes up to infinity and all the way down says 50. So we can adjust that quite a ways for the parallax adjustment. And on the end where the Night Force logo is, this is actually a button that you can press in to cycle through. There's different uh, ways to hold this, whether you're holding it in or you're just touching it. Um, that adjusts for the illumination on the reticle. This is a first focal plane reticle. So as I'm magnifying in, that reticle also magnify with me. Um, so it's something to keep in mind as well, depending on your purpose, that may or may not meet what you're trying to do. Moving back towards the back of the, the, the rifle scope, and I'm gonna turn that around again. So this first dial here is our magnification. So you can see in here, there's a, there's a placeholder for where the throw lever goes. I hit that included so I can replace that out. And as I mentioned, this goes from five all the way up to 25. Very smooth. You don't want it to be overly loose or sloppy. Good constant feel and very smooth. Next down, there's, you'll notice the two separate rings here. This will separate as the diopter adjustment. So you can adjust this to, for your specific eye, right? So getting this focused in with your eyes and your eye relief and making sure that that's focused will give you the best optimization out of your parallax and the use of the optic itself. So make sure if you're not familiar with that, make sure you read on that as well. So these will unscrew slightly so that you can make those adjustments and then lock it back into place. So very, very happy with the quality. Can't wait to get this installed and get it all set up with my eye relief and get it level. Make sure it's perfectly level with your chamber and your, your um, chassis if you can get everything kind of perfectly aligned. I have a few tools that we'll go through. I'll go through that process with you in another video on what I do to set my eye relief, as well as, you know, any heights, any, you know, for my cheek risers and so forth, and then how, what process I'm using to level it. I kind of, a little bit anal, I follow a few com combination of a few different um, processes that people have just to, you know, check and double check. And then obviously taking it out and doing some actual shooting and making sure everything is tracking, super important part of that as well. So we'll do more videos on that as we progress. All in all, really happy with my, with my selection on this. Really can't go wrong with Night Force. And so looking forward to get this all set up and utilize it for everyone to see. Again, if you like this type of content, you wanna see more, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for sure. Please add any comments that you might have. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you experienced. If anybody's using this particular scope, you have others that you like that are your favorites, let me know in the comments. Also on the mount, I'd love to hear the feedback on that as well, uh, what you all are using and what you prefer. So more to come very soon. We appreciate everybody's time. Have a wonderful day.